Hi, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. This is frame number three on hanging wallpaper on a ceiling. Now, probably, I'm gonna say that this is probably one of my most important video series on wallpaper hanging. And uh, <clears throat> hanging wallpaper on a ceiling involves a lot of the tricks of the trade, or not even tricks, just procedures that you have to follow. Now, we showed you how to plan hanging the wallpaper on the ceiling. We showed you how to draw a straight line using a laser or a tape measure. And then we showed you the logistics of hanging the paper. You need two people and you definitely need one of these, a scaffold. Now, let me show you the effects of having made the following mistake, which I'm going to highlight on this video, okay? Take a look at this wallpaper in this room. Can you identify the seams in this wallpaper generally? Watch my finger. You see this line here, right? Hold on. See this line here? Then you see this one over here, right? You seeing it? That's called paneling. You're not seeing the seam. You, that's not the seam. What you're seeing is a panel of wallpaper up against another one. And that's called shading or paneling. Okay? Take a look at it. I'm gonna to try to get you a better look. Now, we didn't do this. This is in the house already. I'm gonna show you. Let me try to show you. I know you could already see it. Uh, isn't that a better manifestation of the issue? You see it? You see right up here? You see that line there? Now, why is that? Well, when you have a textured wallpaper, the texture itself is not all pointing in the same direction as the rest of the texture on the wallpaper. Just like a carpet. You know, you ever hear what, in someone's hair, they, have, they say they have a cow's lick, some of the hair goes this way, and, right? You understand? Well, with a textured wallpaper, some, if you were to look under a microscope, you would see that some of the texture is going up, straight, and a little to the left, well, that causes what's called shading or a paneling effect. You can't see it to the naked eye, but you understand intellectually what's going on. The texture is not all perfectly pointing in the same exact direction. Now, you're not going to be able to fix that, but what you're going to do is you're going to reduce or completely eliminate the effects of paneling or shading. And how are you going to do that? You're simply going to take the wallpaper and hang the first sheet from this direction to that direction. Then the second cut's going to go from here to there. Okay, that's called reversing. That's all. It's a very common procedure that we use when we hang wallpaper. And that's what I want you to do when you have a non-matching wallpaper. If it doesn't match, you can do that. If it matches, you're stuck. But in this case, that wallpaper could have been reversed and they could have joined the seams simply by reversing the pattern, okay? So there you see the effects of it inside. If you fail to do it, you gotta read the directions on your wallpaper, it'll tell you. It'll show you one arrow going down, one arrow going up, and that means to reverse the strips, the consecutive strips, that's all. And you would have to come up with a little technique. You put a piece of tape on the top part of the first one, and then on the second one, you put a piece of tape at the top, and you move that tape toward the other end. Okay, that's called reversing. Just wanted to show you that and show you the bad effects of uh, people not having reversed their wallpaper when they should have. This is Spencer Colgan. Thanks for watching Spencer Colgan's wallpaper. See you on the next one.